Hi everyone, welcome to, you may be able to see behind me, I'm on a track, I am on the Lotus Test Track in Norfolk and they have let me drive two cars today, so I'm going to do two little videos. One is this Exige 410 Sport and let's have a little look around the car. I'm going to do a little walk around the car, point out some interesting bits or whatever and then we're going to pop in, get, I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to do a bunch of laps. I'm going to try and explain what it's like to drive for the first time. I've not driven one of these before and I'm only driving it on track today. We will at some other point drive it on the road, so I'll give you an idea of that. But I'm going to try and get in the car and drive and talk and do all those things. Let's have a look around the car. Okay, so looking around the car, let's give the basic facts to the car. It's the 410, it's the 410 horsepower. It is a supercharged V6. It has had some some changes to the supercharging system. It's now charge cooled, which has brought it over 400 horsepower versus the 350 back previously. Uh, as you can see, we've got this lovely carbon fiber GRP body. Everything is super light in this car. Let's have a little look in the interior. Everything at in these Lotuses is hand done in terms of all the finishing on the leather, and you can have whatever you like in terms of stripes and whatnot. Inside here, we have these carbon bucket seats which are pretty comfy and they're trimmed in however you want so looking inside we've got this tiny steering wheel it's just in your hands it feels almost like a little bit of a go-kart it's unassisted steering in this car so probably quite heavy and then the center bit here we've got this lovely amazing linkage on this manual gear stick which is an amazing little device a, a funny geekery fact you can have this uh, this panel in carbon fiber rather than in GRP covered in leather. And if you do that, it gives you two mil of extra clearance to getting in the car. Now getting in this car, I've just sat in it before, it's, it's really tricky. You've got to sort of stick your foot in like that and then get your bum in and then drag your foot in. We've got start stop buttons here, traction control, lights, uh, the dash, and then aircon, and radio it's not much else in here um, there's a boot space in the back which you'll be able to see all of this stuff is just aimed at keeping everything lightweight so we've got this carbon fiber boot lid which is one piece you can see on the inside it doesn't have any gas struts just has a little stick that you put up to hold it up to save weight up in the car Ooh, what else decent brakes everything's pretty light being 1100 kilos it doesn't need a lot to stop it and I think that will dominate the driving experience will be feeling a light and sort of that really quite powerful engine for its weight now it doesn't not a massive number 410 horsepower but being light I think it will still be quite punchy so let's get in the car and drive around the track hello everyone welcome to the inside of Low six siege 410. Now I am here in Ethel at a track on the Lotus test track for the first time. Now I just went around with the instructor trying to get used to the track and um, and the car and like the way to drive it and all this stuff. And it's I would say my opinions on the car right now are only gonna be relevant to on track and at the moment I'm trying to learn this track and get used to it but well, I thought I'd have a little bit of a drive around and as you can hear off off boost and off power it's um, it's very quiet in here so I imagine on a motorway this is not going to be an unfriendly car cruising and then when the mouth is open and uh, off we go oh, it's, it's not so this car for sure driving it it feels super light like this it doesn't feel like there's anything around me so I've got this tiny little steering wheel Steering wheel, turn it in. Feel front go. <laughs> Feel front go. The unassisted steering is quite. Oh, it really draws you into the driving experience. And then we've got this amazing shifter here, which is just like the coolest looking thing. Okay, so. This car is 410 horsepower, supercharged V6, it's about 1200 kilos. And immediately, just everything, you can just feel the 
steal everything to start with. Very supple, just not, and then wham, wham comes out the corner. So, from just riding the curves a little bit here, you know, the front scrubbing, a little bit sliding, the, um, the ride seems very, like it's firm, but not overly firm. But I imagine because of all the light weight of these cars, you don't need to have it super stiff to control all the body movement and stuff. Like, you know, Bentley now with their two and a half ton or whatever it is and they have all the the motors to talk about these things um, it's just about it's just, honestly I'm actually just kind of having fun and I might just shut up for a bit put it in small and drive a little bit unassisted steering and you really really notice like I am sweating now driving this car I think I can do with in this scenario I can do with the other harnesses
time. Thank you loads and loads for driving this car. Woo! I'm sweating. I don't know how much you can hear. That's pretty good. I, I said, huh. It just draws you in. Sucks you in. If you're going to get a track car, one of these is a great option. It's just, you have to drive it properly and then there's no aids really if you want to start going fast. Everything's so compact, so small. I think, yeah, it's fun. I don't know whether I'd want to, I need to drive it on the road. See what it's like on the road. But as a tracking driving experience, an Exige 420, 410, sorry, is great. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan actually. Yes. Only because it, it makes you, like, it does that thing that caterers do where you have to sort of, it brings out the little bit of the devil in you. You shut up and you just sort of go, just want to drive fast and drive like a hooligan. Um, <laughs> so, I think, I think this is a bit late. Is this a bit late? It is a bit late. Yeah. I got lost. Right, that was the 410. On to the next car. And that's it, that's finished my drive in the Lotus Exige 410 Sport. It was a wicked car, really like involving. I was sweating by the time I got out of it. It's a real workout driving that car. But um, if, you, if it's something that you think you might be interested in, definitely go drive one. Uh, I, I don't think, it's not something that's necessarily right for me. I don't, I don't have a need for a car like this at the moment, but if you like track driving, it's a really physical experience and you really just get, just sucks you in. You just wanna do laps and laps and laps. And because it's not very heavy, it doesn't consume tires that much unless you just go for crazy drifts or if you are, you know, it doesn't smash the brakes very much, all that sort of thing. So well worth checking out. Really enjoyed that drive. Thanks very much to everyone at Lotus.